Hello everybody, my name is Angus Forsyth. I'm a guide here at Alphonse Fishing Company. Uh, today we're going to be tying up a variation of the spawning shrimp. Uh, materials we're going to be using today is an orange uh, nylon blend by Grip. Uh, we're using an SLS 12 uh, Gamagatsu size 2. The body is going to be crystal flash, a zonka in tan and a grizzly craft fur from Fishient and Wapsy Silly Legs. The eyes on the fly are burnt nylon solar res and we're using a tungsten dumbbell eye. Okay, to start off the fly, we're gonna be tying in our thread from the eye, working back down, about of the third of the way down the shank. Good base to tie in our, our dumbbell eye. Start off with just a few cross wraps. Make sure this guy's nice and tight. And then a figure of eight over that. So our eyes on insecure. We're gonna work our thread base all the way back to the beginning bend of the hook. From there, we're gonna take our first small section of craft fur. You don't need a lot for this. Cut out enough. What you're going to do with that is pinch off the ends and pull out that under fibers. And we're going to tie in this at about the same length as the hook shank back. Just uh, two loose wraps. Get it in position. Then tighten that down. From there, we're going to work the thread back over the excess up towards the, the dumbbell, and that is just going to give us a bit of a base for later. We will wrap our body. Once that's cut off, we'll wrap it back. Doesn't need to be too neat, most of this will be covered and work our way back to our original tie-in point. From there, we're going to tie in our two burnt mono eyes. These we're going to put about halfway back down our material. Then just a few loose wraps to get them secured. The key here is to try and get your eyes nice and even. Once you've got them Nice and evenly spaced. We're going to wrap back up over the nylon tags and all the way back down to our original tie-in. Here we're going to be using the Grip Orange Nylon Blend. And this is going to be what forms the, the egg sac on the spawning shrimp. What I'll do with this is we're going to tie it in across and split it either side of the hook. Just make sure we get it nice and even. Pinch it off behind and tie that in nice and tight. From there, we're going to go onto our silly legs. I've got them in white and barred orange. We're going to tie in one of each of these. Cross wrap on these just to secure them. Once we've got them in position, just make sure that they're lying down either side of the hook. Same process on either side, wrap those in. From there, we are gonna take about four strands of our crystal flash. This is what we are gonna make our body of the fly out of. The reason I'm using four is we wanna cover everything from that tie-in point up to the dumbbells with this flash. 
So that is a nasty right back. Once you've trimmed off the excess here, we're going to wrap our thread back up to the dumbbell. From here, we're going to wrap the four strands all the way up to the body. The reason I've left them nice and long, we're going to go back over, make sure we haven't left too many gaps, all the way back up to those dumbbells. Just a couple of wraps to secure those nice and tight and over the dumbbell onto the front of the fly, trim off our excess. So we've got our basic body, legs, eyes and the egg sac in. From here I'm going to take a small piece of our zonker here. This just gives a little bit of extra body to the fly. This we're going to tie in as close to those dumbbells as we can. A couple of light wraps, make sure you've got it centered. Once you've got it in place, a few nice tight wraps will secure that. Next step is back to our craft fur. We're going to take a bit of a bigger section than we had on the first piece. This is going to be the main wing of our fly. But Again, the same process, a nice chunk this time, and pull out all those under fibers. And you want to tie this in a bit back from the eye of the hook, just to give you that space to build the head. Not working with a lot of material, so just taking it carefully, two wraps, make sure you've got that centered, and then cinching it down, working up towards the head. And just before we finish that off, we're going to put in another four strands of our crystal flash. I'm going to measure those just slightly longer than your main wing. And one wrap, make sure we've got them where we want them. And we're going to tie that. Excess. And here we're just going to build up a nice neat head back down to the eye and we'll finish it with a whip finish. So that's secured. We'll trim our thread and then just a bit more durability. We're going to seal that off with solar is. Now this fly is a go-to all-rounder on the flats here. Uh, species from triggerfish, bonefish, permit, uh, and the numerous other flat species out here. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you get something out of this session we've done now. Um, main thing with tying patterns like this is be creative, change it up, see what works, um, get out there and and see how they work. Good luck.